everyone, what's up and welcome back to my channel, to this video, which is my February favorites. If you kept up with me throughout the month of February, you know that I found a lot of little drugstore gems, which aren't usually my thing, <laughs> but I've kind of been exploring that a little bit more, found some things I really liked, um, found some not so drugstore things that I really, really liked. When I say liked, I mean February had some stuff that just rekindled my excitement and love for makeup, which is, I mean, I kind of lost that the last couple of months, but gosh, there was some good stuff in February. So you're probably like talking to the video, talking to your phone or your device right now saying, stop rambling, get on with your favorites because I want to see what you've had for the month. So let's just go ahead and jump right into that. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of move quickly because I have somewhere to be here shortly and I wanted to go through all of these with you before I leave the house. So, first off, the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. This thing, I mean, yes, I've heard about it like left and right, everybody talks about it. Jaclyn Hill talked about it forever and a day and it's kind of one of those things where it's like, mm, I don't know. And I finally just bit the bullet and picked one up at Ulta with my $3.50 off coupon and Whoa, this thing is so good. I could see myself using this and nothing else for a very long time. The only thing I'm not sure is how quickly you go through one of these because I feel like I've only used it <laughs> a handful of times and I'm like, I think this might be like halfway. Anyways, so good. It makes my makeup look ridiculously nice. Like it really does do what Jaclyn Hill says and it just kind of brings everything together. It doesn't give you that powdery look. It just kind of sets everything in place to how it needs to be. It smells amazing. And the best part about it, you don't spray it and get like heavy raindrops all over your face. It is just what it says, a continuous mist. It's amazing. I love it and I highly recommend it. Let me put it down. <laughs> so the next thing, the hype is also real on this. This is the Tarte Double Duty Beauty First Step Prep Moisture Reset Cream. I would never be able to say that fast. This thing is, whoa, as I blind you, this thing is so, so flipping good. It is amazing. It's heavy, like hefty. It feels luxurious. It, um, it, in essence, it's just a cream. It's not a primer, although I have used it as such. Um, I typically use this like if I'm going to do my eyes first, I will put this on so that it can kind of soak into my face and then I'll go in with primer and foundation after I'm done with my eyes. And it's a very, very rich cream. So if you've had like dryness issues over the course of this last winter, this will be your absolute best friend. And every time I have used this, I can't even describe to you like the kind of smooth canvas it gives my skin. Kind of similar to the Tatcha Silk Canvas primer, but this is an actual moisturizer. This, it's amazing. And now it's pricey. I think it was like $35, but it is so good, you guys, that I can't even tell you. And it doesn't have like a smell, so it's not like it's overpowering if you're sensitive to smells. Beyond, beyond amazed by that. And I, that is something you're going to see me use for a long time to come. This next one, I have grown to really love this. And you've probably seen, if you've kept up with my videos in February, you've seen this whole journey. But this is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. I think I used this in a, not in a first impressions, but maybe. I know I've used it a couple of times in like get ready with me videos. And I had once said, don't get me wrong, I still miss my Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir. Still not ready to bite the bullet on repurchasing that quite yet. This is a very strong... Com like comparable mascara, not in that I think it would re ever replace my Marc Jacobs, but to kind of, in the interim, I'm very happy with this. Like it's, this gives me length. Now it doesn't really give me a ton of volume. It gives me enough. The only downside to this is it's very, it's a very wet formula. So I can go three, four minutes after having done my mascara, five, six minutes even. Like it was a while the other day that I had done my mascara and I kept going with my face and for whatever reason I looked up and it left a whole mark right up here. Aside from that, this is a really, really good mascara for drugstore, you guys. It's got a curved little wand or spoolie or whatever. And I think this was like $6.97 or at Walmart. Definitely loving this. I've been using it every single day. And I did not think I would like go back to liking a drugstore mascara that much. Next up, this is something I got kind of on the tail end of the month of February. But once it came in, I couldn't stop using it. 
Um, if you have seen my Ofra cosmetics, um, my Ofra highlighters, or are they worth the hype video, that was a long time ago. Um, I had kind of just put out there that those were some of the best highlighters. If you want an intense glow that you're going to be seen from neighborhoods down, then the Ofra highlighters are for you. And so the only thing is, is that it's like $29. You get your, your, you know, your normal size highlight. It's just so much. Well, this little baby is a palette and it consists of three of the Nikki Tutorials Ofra highlighters, which was perfect. So $29, you get three of them. You get Space Baby, Glazed Donut, and Glow Goals. Oh my gosh, right up my alley. Now, Nikki Tutorials highlighters are they tend to be a little light because she's very fair skin tone. I am light medium, so it tends to be like, for example, glazed donut. It's a little light, so I kind of have to mix it like the two of them or it looks just too much of a light stripe on my skin. But you guys, these are so good. And it's actually, I am wearing um, Glow Goals today. So if you're wondering what that is, that's what this is. I have not been able to put this down. And then Space Baby is the one with the blue shift. I kind of wish it would have come with the one with the pink shift. That's okay. I'm not complaining. Um, again, $29 and I get three of her highlighters. And I'm telling you, I never even will go through these. So this is just so perfect for me. I'm tired of buying like the super big sizes and paying a ton of money for that and then they you know they go bad or I end up getting tired of things and selling it on Poshmark um, which if you don't follow me on Poshmark you need to um, so that if I ever post which I post pretty regularly I guess I don't really do declutters anymore because as I go through stuff I'm like you know what this is never gonna get used again I'll put it on Poshmark so these smaller palettes are the perfect way for me to still get what I'm looking for without having to spend a ton and uh, get those massive ones, you know? So these next products, I just posted a video a few days ago on if the Kylie highlighters, blushes, and bronzers were worth it. And so if you have watched that already, then you know that the, the uh, cause I love Kylie highlights. I am over the moon. It's some of my, they're some of my favorite formulas. The only thing is this last release, they're not some of my favorite formula. I wasn't disappointed. It's just I wasn't, they didn't compare to some of her limited edition stuff, which is totally fine. The bronzers and the blushes blew me away. And these have officially become some of my favorite formulas of any brand. So Toasty and Tequila Tan are what I have as the bronzers. I'm actually wearing Toasty today. These are so good, you guys. Like, I can't even tell you. This particular one is Toasty. In case you are wondering, um, they are just so smooth. They're matte, but they go on with such a smooth consistency that it gives my skin a very airbrushed look. It doesn't look like I'm wearing bronzer, like I tried too hard to warm up my skin. It just looks like a very natural bronze look. I don't know how else to describe it for you. This one is Toasty, and I find that between te Tequila Tan, if you're wondering, between Tequila Tan and Toasty, Toasty is the richer brown of the two but they are both both very, very pretty, and I find them very suitable for my skin tone. They definitely would be a little too light for my deeper skin tone ladies, but I do know that she has a range of about six um, bronzers. So the next ones, um, and I probably won't give you swatches of all of them because there is a dedicated video to this these products, but the blushes, I can't even tell you, I can't stop using them. I can't put them down. I go to use something and I'm like, I don't want to. I want to use the Kylie blushes. So for reference, I did pick up Rosie, Batty on the Block, Kitten Baby, and we are going shopping. And I love each and every one of them. In fact, I do really want to pick up um, Close to Perfect. That one, I wasn't planning on picking it up, but yeah, I think I want to pick it up. Let me give you a swatch of Rosie. This is the deepest one, and this I think would be so stunning on multiple skin tones. Again, this formula, it just goes on so naturally, so easily. It builds up very, very well. I am in love with these products, and uh, I find myself, I see myself using them for a very, very long time to come. Next up, let's go into another highlighter. This is the Juvia's Placed Place Tribe Highlighter Volume 3. If you love a bold highlight, if you love a glowy highlight, a sheen, again, you want to be seen down the block, then this is for you. But if you are a very deep skin tone, they have volumes one and two in different shades um, to suit different skin tones, which is nice. This is volume three, which ironically is the one that suits 
my skin lighter skin tones the best um so it kind of went backwards but this is so good and i want to say i can't remember i think these are like 12 dollars or something and they are ridiculous in the quality for such a good price i don't understand how they do it but these are amazing and this is what this one looks like right here very very glowy very intense and very affordable i highly highly recommend this and I have used this very very frequently for the month of February. Next up is a blush. I hopped on the Buxom Wanderlust bandwagon for blushes. And I actually picked up the one that continually was sold out online at both Sephora and Ulta because it just seemed like, okay, maybe that's the one that everyone, that there's something to this one. As it turns out, um, when I read Temptalia's review of these, this is actually the one with the strongest sheen. And so that is right up my alley. So I did want to pick this one up. And then I said, if I like this one, then I'll pick up others. And so Seychelles is the one that I picked up, which is kind of like the nude brown version, which typically I don't go for as brown a shade as this but it has such a beautiful sheen that it blends out so naturally on the skin and it looks very very pretty so this is what it looks like I actually very much like this clear acrylic packaging I think it's nice I've heard people say that they feel it looks cheap I like it it's hefty it's thick it's just very very pretty so it's soft 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 it's very silky soft and this is what the shade looks like it's very again natural nude and let's put it right here and it is a strong strong sheen so when i use this and then i put highlight on top it's like it almost bl they almost blend in together i don't know something about it just goes so well on the skin and just blends so well into your highlight I highly, highly recommend these blushes. Again, I haven't tried the other shades yet, um, but Seychelles is definitely a winner. Okay, next up is a drugstore item, which I have been loving. So I've been totally using the Kylie bronzers, but in between that, I have been using this L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronze It. This is so pretty. So I just got through telling you I love products with a sheen, and this has like a sheen to it that looks so natural, so glowy. It just goes on the skin very nicely. I did pick mine up in the shade 01 Light, and that suits my light medium skin tone very well. The number two looked a little too deep for me, and this is just I love the size of it and the sheen, the tone. It is like a, I don't know, I hate to say it has like a great tone to it, but I feel like it kind of almost does. I'm horrible at deciphering that. What I love is that it does not have orange or red tones to it. I'm just not really a huge fan of bronzers with those tones. They don't really suit my skin tone very well. This one is so pretty. So I'm going to I don't know if I got a good swatch. I think I totally did operator error there, as my husband would say. <laughs> so let me go ahead and rub this right here next to the blush. So this is the bronzer and it also has a very strong sheen. I uh, placed it side by side with that blush so that you can kind of see how they both have that sheen right there Just very very pretty very glowy This is actually going to be so perfect during the summer months to look like I have a natural glowy kind of warmth to my skin Yeah, <laughs> so the next item we'll do lips last this eyeshadow palette is it's not drugstore I got it at Ulta, but it's technically drugstore price it's BH Cosmetics and it's $16. I used my $3.50 coupon and got it for like $12.50, which is crazy. And I had never tried BH Cosmetics shadows before. From what I've seen, some of the palettes don't look like they have this type of formula. So I don't know if this is just something they do from time to time. But the formula in these like foiled shades is very, very rich. They're very creamy. They're almost like a cream to powder formula, even though they are strictly a powder formula. But they're very intense and I find them to to just go on so intense so beautiful and some of these shades I have been pulling double duty and using both as an eyeshadow and a highlight and I really have been enjoying it the uh, matte shades go on so easily so smoothly and I like the color scheme in this particular palette if you've watched my videos in February you know I also bought the love in London palette which I also like very very much but I like the color scheme in this one better than the London and this is gonna be really really good for spring and summer months coming but I'm just gonna show you how intense these 
like foil metallic shades are. So this is why I say you can pull double duty and use them as highlight as well. And they go on so easily. They're so bright and rich and they really pop on the lid. So this is what they look like. Really awesome summer shades that'll really stand out, especially with a tan. It's hard to believe that some things like this are like that inexpensive, I guess, especially when you've been used to paying higher end or higher prices for some of these things that then when you get something this good a quality at that price range, you're like, how is that even possible? So, so good. I've been loving that for the month of February. Next up, this is the only Juvia's Place palette I own, and it's really the only color scheme that has kind of spoken to me. That's why I really haven't purchased one in the past, but I am all about pops of color, neon shades, and this just really reached out to me. Now, I was waiting for Ulta to get it. To this day, they still have not received it. So I don't know if this is something that's gonna be exclusive to Juvia's Place site, or if down the road they're gonna bring it to Ulta. I don't I don't know, but uh, Juvia's Place had a sale a few weeks back, and I went ahead and picked it up. It was like 20% off the site, and then an additional 10% off of that. I already did a first impressions, like a first time trying Juvia's Place, so if you're interested in that, check that video out. I kind of, you know, walk you through the get ready with me using this palette, and I was blown away at how good this is, and I have had so much fun using these shades, and I love these foiled metallic types of shades for the lid, so this has been right up my alley. Let me give you a couple of real quick swatches. One thing I love about this white, what looks to be a white shade, is that it has a green shift and it's very, very pretty. That one video I had placed it in my inner corner thinking it was gonna be kind of like a pearl white shade and it ended up being this green shift and it just changed the whole look in a really good way. So this is just one of my favorites for the month of February and I'm really excited to use this in the summer because these shades are gonna go so, so good in the summer months, and that's what those two look like right there. And I think this was probably like, gosh, I probably paid $12 for this because of the sale. I don't remember, something along those lines. Ridiculous. So let's move on. I've got a couple of other palettes, kind of get this stuff off of my hand here. Um, so the next palette is one that I love, I think, more than the first one. And I don't know if it's because there's just been so many berry tones, berry tone palettes recently that I'm like not over it because I love berry tones, but I really don't have something like this in my collection. At least there's a few shades that I really didn't have in my collection. At this point, it's hard to do because everything that comes out is like a dupe for something else and you end up with repeats of similar shades. And so when you can get something that's unique to your collection, that's definitely a win. And this was that kind of thing. So this is the Venus XL2 and this is the one that has like the peaches and the greens. I love the cover and I think I like the cover on this more than the other one as well. So then you open it up. This is what it looks like. A lot of people were saying it looks kind of boring that a lot of the shades blend into each other and end up looking like the same color. I'm of the opinion that if you use shades that look similar in tone, yes, they're going to do that no matter what palette you use. There are shades in here that if you kind of use them as a pop, if you use browns and then you take one of the greens and use it on your lid, that lid color is going to pop. And I don't think a lot of people are doing that. I don't know. That's just my opinion, but that's what I have found with this palette and I love it. These uh, glittery, sparkly, they're not glitter, but these sparkly metallic shades perform so good. Probably some of my favorites from any brand. It's, I mean, they're just, I feel like they're so underrated and they perform so well. These mattes are easy to blend. I have not had any issues whatsoever and I like again that some of this is very unique and I don't have some of this so here's one of the mattes it's kind of that like toned down green a couple of those sparkly metallic shades and just the way you see how this swatches it performs the same way on the lid sometimes you never know you know if you swatch it and you say I don't know if it's gonna perform like that on the lid these do which is nice so let me put this down before I end up dropping it and being heartbroken. That's what those shades look like and I am having so much fun using this. I have had a ton of use out of it for the month of February and I'm going to continue it into the spring months because these colors are so perfect for spring. 
So definitely um, a win. I did use an Ulta 20% off coupon when I got one for like high-end products and that kind of, it's pricey, it's $59. So if you can use a 20% off coupon, then that is the way to go. So just a couple of last things. One eyeshadow palette still to go. This was a $10 palette and it has given me some of the best looks that I've ever been able to do. And honestly, when I have put together those looks, people tell me so much. Like, even guys will say your eyeshadow looks really good, which, you know, usually they don't kind of, that's, that's not something that, you know, they look at. Usually girls are going to tell you, oh, wow, your eyeshadow looks good. But when I say these stand out, these totally stand out. And it's because, again, the foiled shades just are very intense, very rich. The brush, I love that it comes with this brush, and it's actually a very useful brush. But it's from the brand Profusion. It's the Wanderlust palette. I purchased it at Walmart for 10 bucks. And this is what it looks like. So again, a lot of color in here, a whole color scheme that's very pops of color, very bright. Um, and I have had so much fun using this, but I've had fun using it because it's been great quality. So let me give you a couple of swatches and you're gonna be so blown away that this is only $10. And you can still pick it up at your local Walmart. Mine still has it. So here are three shades and they blend easy. They pack on the lid very quickly and very pigmented. And they're just very fun to use. And these are gonna be great for summer too because of the greens, the blues, there's a lot of purple and pink. There's just a lot of bright shades in this palette and I have found it so good for $10. Again, how do you get used to that when you're used to spending like 40, $50 on an eyeshadow palette? 10 bucks and it is so so good in fact at my grocery store last night I found the Sienna's palette in this same format and it had a few metallics that looked I mean obviously the nudes and naturals but I still picked it up uh, because of the price tag and it looked really nice so more to come on that um, let's see I've got two lip products one is not a new product it's just a product that I hadn't used in a while and then the other day I was like I need to just I want to use one of my Kylie glitter glosses and so the one I used the other day is actually still in my purse it's like a brighter pink but this is the shade chill peel and I've got a few of these in different shades um, and these are her glitter glosses and I if you are looking for a true glitter gloss then this is the one for you because I have been on the hunt on the trek for a true glitter gloss for a really long time and sometimes brands will release a glitter gloss but it's more gloss than it's glitter so after like a few minutes the glitter disappears and you could never tell that it was a glitter gloss this on the other hand is more glitter than it is gloss so I have found that once the glitter kind of dies down and rubs off the glitter stays and has such a neat effect so if you love sparkle if you love glitter if you love anything sparkly in your makeup, then these are for you. So this, again, it's called Chill Peel. It was part of her summer collection. And she tends to release these like a few times a year with her limited collections. I know she did a couple of them with her um, Christmas collection. She did a few with her summer collection. So you just have to, it's not, I don't know if she has any, I'm pretty sure she does, in her permanent line. But I tend to pick them up when she has a limited edition um, collection so and she'll usually release two or three they smell really good they smell just like her other glosses this is like a violet kind of shift uh, but it is so pretty as far as the glitter goes and like I said once the gloss all rubs off and you're just left with the glitter it has such a pretty effect on the lips last but certainly not least let me reach over real quick is actually another Kylie product it's from her Valentine's collection and it is one of the lip kits so I bought two out of the three lip kits I love them both but I love this one more and it is the forever set it's the one that comes with the nude pink shade and this has suited so many looks throughout the month of February that's been the lip product that I have used the most and it's in what's a lot it's what is in a lot of my videos for the month of February so Obviously her lip kits usually come with the liquid lipstick and the lip liner. These were priced a little higher, but they also came with the high gloss, which y'all know that that's her latest gloss formula. Um, this particular lipstick is called Built to Last. I'll give you a quick swatch, but I have had a lot of questions on this lip color when I've been wearing it in videos. And for good reason, just because it, it suits my skin tone very well, but I think this suits 
quite a few skin tones um, because it's not that concealer type of nude it's almost it's like a pink nude but it almost pulls slightly brown and uh, this is what it looks like right here and once it's on it just suits so well so if you've got like a really um, dramatic eye going on this looks perfect it just it just ties everything together without it being too much, but just giving that perfect type of nude that makes your lips look fuller, nicer, and I really have loved this. I've actually loved this more than a lot of her um, lipsticks lately, and I have really enjoyed a lot of her lipsticks for her last few launches, but this is the one that probably has been the most loved out of all of them. It comes with the liner, like I said, and then the um, the lip gloss I really have not used. I have really been using the lipstick pretty nonstop. Um, but let me see if I can grab this thing out of this package and I'll tell you what lip gloss comes in here. Okay, so the gloss that it comes with is called Story of Us, and it's actually like a gold shift type of gloss. It is very, it looks very metallic and very glittery. It's actually not. I have found these types of glosses to have that type of formula where it looks like super shimmery when you first put it on the lips, but after a little while, it just kind of blends into your lipstick or into your lips, and then you just look like you have a clear gloss on top. Let me place some of it over this lipstick. And that way you can kind of see, hopefully, um, so right there. That's what the gloss looks over top of that lipstick. And like I said, I really haven't used this one. Um, this lipstick is what has been pretty much used all throughout the month of February. Okay, guys, that brings us to the end of my February favorites. I feel like that was a lot of stuff, a lot to go through. So thank you so much for sticking that out with me. I hope that it was enjoyable, entertaining for you. Maybe you saw a few things in there that you want to go check out. That's one reason I love watching favorites videos, some things that I didn't even know existed, and I'm like, I need to go check that out. All right, guys, before I let you go, I want to give you the verse of the day, just in an effort to encourage you and motivate you and just to let you know that Jesus loves you. And today's comes from Matthew 5, 16, and it says, Jesus said, in the same way, let your light shine before men that they may see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. All right, guys, I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel if you enjoyed this and want to see future videos. Please give this video a thumbs up. That would really help me out, and that tells me that you enjoy these types of videos. And I will see you in the very next video. Hope you're having a wonderful week so far. Bye, guys.